Hey guys, welcome to another Game Tech Super Shem video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys when it is, in uh, my opinion, the best lock screen for Android, and you can use it on any version of Android. And it's made by Go Launcher EX, and it's called Go Launcher. So first, you gotta go to the Play Store. Uh, once you're in the Play Store, uh, just go ahead and search for Go Locker. Uh, that's the name of the uh, lock screen. Go ahead and click Enter, and click on the first result, which should be Go Locker, made by Go Launcher X. Uh, once you're here, you can take a look at the screenshots, the you know app permissions. Click install. Uh, wait for it to you know download, install. And uh, while it installs and stuff, I just want to say it's pretty good. It's a pretty good uh, locker in my opinion. It's really you know you can customize it very much. You know there's a lot of uh, various themes you can have. I mean, there's a very large amount of themes you can have. You can change it to make it look like Windows 8, and it's really customizable, which is why I really like it, which I'll be talking about later as well. Uh, so once you uh, install it, go ahead and click open. You come up with this screen. Click on uh, set later because this is uh, pressing the home button, you know, preventing the unlocking of the phone, preventing the bypass of security. But we'll do this later. Go, once you click on that, click on got it. And these are all the themes. But the important thing is to click on locker and the settings icon in the top right. Once you're here, it's kind of confusing, but uh, I'll guide you through it. So make sure activate go locker is on. And then, uh, <clears throat> pretty much what you have to do here is it's kind of, you know, pretty complicated, the settings, because there's a lot of different settings you can do from here. Uh, but if you turn your screen off, that's the first step. You turn it on again, and you'll come up with the default lock screen. Go ahead and unlock it, and you'll come back to this. Click on Home, Go Locker, and Always, and then you'll come up with this screen and click on Launcher, or any other launcher. It's your launcher of choice. And so when you, um, when you lock the phone and you unlock it, you will not be able to bypass uh, by clicking the home button, as you can see here. And um, that's pretty much how you install it. Next, I'll be showing you how you, uh, you know, change some settings, customizability. So uh, once you're into the program and you're into the settings icon again, you can uh, lock the home button, which we did manually by doing the you know press home, lock the screen, etc. You can turn off system lock. Not really, you know, necessary. It hasn't really popped up. You can click on notification, and it shows you all your notifications from all your apps. Click on enable, check mark the Go Locker, and you know this pretty much shows you all the notifications from all your apps that you might have. So once you click OK, it gives the app permission. Go ahead and click on select all because by default it selects the important ones. Once you click select all, go ahead and go back, as now all your apps that have notifications will be shown there go back you can you know different uh, things to change visual settings you can change the background um, as you can see there I set my background to the launcher setting but you can check you can have it to a custom one you know unlock effect I like the TV one because it looks cool time and date you know 24 hours stuff like that I like to keep it in the 12 hour format then you have your unlock sound I, I just prefer silence you can hide your status bar but you can do stuff like that but I just keep it default Advanced calls are pretty. Advanced settings are pretty cool. You could have a music player. I keep it in recommended, so it detects like Spotify, Google Play Music, audio stuff like that. You can have you know messages, system per. You, it's it's pretty pretty customizable. It's really nice. You can have your security, which um, you can select you know your same system ones, non pin pattern, and that's pretty much it for customizability. And here is my lock screen. Uh, in the top left, you have your music, you have your time, weather, alarm, date, and you can slide down notifications and settings. Weather, your two notifications, so I have Google Now and my music. I'm going to go ahead and clear all my apps here. Uh, you have, you know, Google Now, music, and the little raindrops you're seeing are the signal that it's charging. So if I click on the music, I just click some icon of pop. I love it. Not my song, just letting you know. Um, you can slide to the left to clear the app notification. Slide to the right to look at it or pretty much click on it and it will take you to it. I'm just going to slide these away. So the raindrops are saying that it's charging. So as you can see, it's 43%. And I really like how it's represented there. So. so yeah, to the left is phone call, up is unlock, and to the right is messages, so hangouts. And yeah. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching this quick video on why I think Go Locker is the best lock screen for Android customizability, and it looks good. 
Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, because I might have talked kind of fast, be sure to comment, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.